Hey you guys, it's Cami with Coast Dad Wide Bar and I'm in here with Barbara Joy and it's quiet because it's rainy today. And so I thought I would jump on and talk about our new puppy pour kit. Um, and I'm gonna make one because it's fun and it's raining and it's really gross outside. So I thought I would jump on and show you how this is gonna be made. So when you get on, say hey, tell me where you are and I'm just gonna walk you through the kit and we're gonna do it. So when you get your kit, it's gonna come with a 12 by 12 uh, backing and it's gonna come with the uh, parts for the paw. And when we use this saran wrappy stuff, man, I apologize in advance, it's kinda deadly. But just kinda cut your way in. Oh, hey Holly. All right, so you're gonna get all of the pieces for the paw. Cute. So with your kit, you're gonna get a background paint and then you get your choice of um, six colors for the paw. I, decide, I wanted to make sure you had enough paint and the way that you're gonna choose your paint is by ch selecting color palettes of three. So what I did was I picked this color palette and this color palette, which together, it's gonna be magic. This is actually uh, identical to the color palette. Hold on. For the soon to be tray pour. Um, I just finished doing the multi-day video to teach you guys how to make these. Uh, these are not gonna be shippable unless you wanna pay like 30 bucks. They're really heavy, you guys. I, I'm happy to charge you whatever it costs for me to put it together ship. I don't mind doing the effort, but it's very expensive. So um, yeah, if you, if you want it to ship. But this is coming. Um, I just finished the videos. We've got the kit figured out, the process figured out. Um, it is, see how shiny it is? This is not resin. If you've been in the shop, we've got some resin ones. We've done a resin class. Um, it does look like the earth. But the colors, the, right? Same colors. Now you're gonna have much more paint than this when you do this. Um, but, let me put it close. Look at that. Look at all those cells. It's gorgeous. Uh, even the one I did, which it's it's still out there finishing its clear coat dry, so I didn't want to bring that one in. Uh, but the one I did on the sample video that teach you how to do it, uh, it's gorgeous. It looks a little different, but it's the same color palette. So this is that color palette. So you're gonna see it on this. Now, puppy paw, let's go back to the puppy paw pour. So when you get it, you get your pour paints but you also get a paint choice or stain for your background. And for this one, I just picked white because I think it, I think it's gonna match my house. So um, you're gonna get a brush. It's not gonna be this big. I, honestly, we're cleaning up in here and I couldn't find the right brushes, but I will. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna dump out the paint. Um, if you get paint and you like the look of stain, I think you guys know you can do the baby wipe technique. But on this one, I'm gonna go for a little bit heavier look. I want it to be white. Oh, yeah, because this is the sample I did. And it's got a dark base, which looks really good. So I thought if I did a white base, it would contrast nicely. So all you're gonna do is dump your paint out, or if you've got a smaller brush, we're gonna give you a foam brush with it. Then you just wipe it on. I like to do thin coats. And so what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm just gonna do the first coat super thin. And then I'll let it dry while I'm pouring and I'll do a second coat. If you try to put your paint, background paint on with one thick, heavy coat, you know, it doesn't always dry nicely. And then it's got this buildup effect and I think you can see it sometimes. So I prefer thin coat. So just put it on 
and then you're gonna wipe it in. I can still see the wood through here. If I wanted to, I could stick with this look and it would be cute. I will, however, put a second coat on this one. Okay, so super simple. It's just a white background. I'm gonna let it dry and then I will do a second coat later. But that's not the fun part. The fun part's the pour. So I'm gonna do the pour. Oh, Alicia, you definitely need a puppy pour. Okay, so if you guys are just joining, we've got a whole bunch more since I started. I'm on here showing you our new puppy paw pour print. Say that 10 times fast. So I've got everything that you need to make this. Uh, this is what I call my Lily Pulitzer combo. <laughs> um, this actually has five colors in the sample, but you're gonna get to choose six, and you're gonna choose six by choosing two three color palettes. I chose these two, okay? So now when you do this pour, oh, hey, Grace from Texas. Oh, we're national. Uh, when you do this pour kit, you're going to get four cups to pour with, okay? So you're gonna do, oh, I know, Denise, it's super cute. This is gonna be your cup. You know what, we might even give you, I got new little pour cups that are half this deep, but this wide. And it's stupid to say that it's it's cute, but it's cute. Oh, me too, Ashley. We're gonna, it's gonna be cute. So you're gonna get a cup for each one. Boop, 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 right? And then you're gonna get a big one for this one. All right, hey, Marissa. Yeah, everybody say hey. This was a good time to come on. All right. So I'm just gonna start the process. If you've watched the pours, you know the process, but I'm gonna assume you haven't. Man, we got stuff everywhere in here. So when you first start, you're gonna also get this little container and it's clear and it has silicone in it. And silicone's what we use to get easy cells. You don't have to use it. Uh, it's definitely not a requirement, but if you like it, if you like the extra cells, you can do it. And what you want to do, my tip is do not, uh, I'm going to actually put these paw prints on top of these when I pour them. Don't, uh, don't try to put silicone in every single one of them. And my reasoning for that is the silicone helps change the weight of the, and I just want to make sure you guys can see them all, changes the weight of the paint. And if you, what am I doing? I need a fourth one. If you put it in all of them, you put it back to where they're all very similar in weight. So you wanna mix them up. You have two whites uh, in these two color palettes. We have white in a lot of color palettes because it's a heavier paint. My advice, my second advice, don't put silicone in the white because it naturally is gonna be heavier and the silicone makes it lighter, okay? So you'll get a natural um, difference in weight by not doing anything to the white. All right, so I'm gonna put mine in two, three, three. Just a random, there's no choice. So all you do when you do these is you're gonna, don't spill it, oh Lord. Okay, you're gonna dip your popsicle stick in, stir it around and pull it out. And whatever sticks to the popsicle stick is all you need. I don't want you pouring your silicone into the paint. That's too much. And it, I don't know what would happen, but. It's a waste, you don't, you don't need that much. Okay, and I'm gonna keep my popsicle sticks just in case I need to scrape my cups. Um, I did the sample like two weeks ago, so I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, there's no choice, I'm just kind of grabbing them. Any color is good. I will tell you that uh, while I'm stirring these in, We've got a cute new little add-on that you can do. You don't have to do it for your pour kits. You can get these for anything. Look at those. I made little earrings. So they come, we're already gonna have the backs glued on. Let's see if I can get that close enough. There you go, there you go. So the backs are glued on. They're just stainless steel, they're not fancy. And I cut little wooden hearts. Now you could just buy these, they're $5 for the whole kit. It comes with this little styrofoam to help you dry them. 
Um, so if you have stain at home, paint at home, all of those would work on these, but I think they'd make really cute dippers because if you look at the top two, I dipped those in a pour that I did the other day. So I'm gonna dip these bottom two while we're doing the paw. Okay, last silicone, seal that bad boy back up. I'm pretty sure I didn't do this one. Okay. And then I want you to, even if you're not putting silicone in the rest of your paint, I want you to stir it. Because uh, they don't sit too long, but they do sit a little bit and it's possible, uh, they have pouring medium already included, so it's possible that they separate. So we don't want to do that. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill all of my cups together, just for ease. That way I know that I'm gonna make sure I have enough. Um, I'm gonna have more than enough, actually, so. Oh, ha <laughs> talk to everybody, there you go. Oh, I love the earrings too, Alicia. Okay, I'm just gonna grab paint and I'm not gonna be too serious about how I do it. I just like to dump. Um, you guys know I like to layer. I think layering is the trick more than how you put it in the cup. Um, sometimes you'll notice that when you put a he like heavy like white into a cup, you'll watch it get sucked into the other paint because it drops through it. And that's what you're trying to have happen because it makes it look cool. All right, so I'm just dumping paint. I'm not gonna put, at first I was gonna put white between each paint, but I did white as my background. So I, I want these to stand off a little bit more. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of white. I'm not gonna go crazy with the white. All right, that, this is plenty of paint for these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna touch it up with a little bit of blue. And then I'm going into the big one with the rest. So if you can see, I'm about three quarters way up on the cut for the toe beans, we shall call them. And then I'm just gonna put the rest of the paint in here. I'm gonna only use half of this white. I'm not gonna use it all. We're not gonna need it. I'm gonna put the lid back on that. So we'll use it on another pour. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna start with the toe beans because I think it's gonna be easier for me to do them up there. And I already have, y'all, if you watched my video earlier, I got, uh, <laughs> I have clay all over my jeans. I did, <laughs> I was sitting here just a minute ago and looked down and realized there was wet, mud basically on my pants. So I'm gonna try to keep the paint off today. Oh, I know, so cute. Oh, thanks, hey Melissa. All right, so you guys ready? I'm gonna start on the end and all you do is you put it upside down like this, hold them together, flip it, it's called the flip cut. And I'm gonna gently set it down on my lid. I'm gonna flip them all first. I like to let them sit as long as I can stand it to let the paint come off the bottom of the cup to the wood. All right. Now I'm not gonna do this one yet because I don't wanna get all like hung up on myself trying to pour them. Okay, you guys ready? Ooh, look, I cut my bangs last night. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> look, y'all, Barb is, um, so Barbara Joy is currently taking some of our best used stencils. So we packed all our stencils up because as we plan on phase three, I got to, initially I had an overreaction of, we don't want everybody rummaging through stencils. That seems logical. But then we got to thinking, okay, there's a few of our best loved stencils. Uh, that's the low power notice I just got. <laughs> anyway, um, we were thinking we couldn't rummage through them, but what we've decided to do is we're prepping for phase three 
Uh, I will have classes out and available to sign up for uh, tomorrow at the latest. Uh, we changed our website uh, uh, supplier, maker, whatever. I changed my the host of my website during this time and um, I don't know how to put events on my new web page. <laughs> so I have a little bit of learning to do. I'm gonna do that tonight. Um, and then I'm gonna have the events put out there. What we're gonna be doing is we will be reserving tables. So that's the function of how we're gonna do this. But what she's doing right now is she's taking some of our best used stencils and putting them out uh, so that we can have them available for you to use. So there won't be maybe 30 stencils total, I think. Um, it's not gonna be crowded like it was before, but we're gonna pick the ones that we think you guys are gonna love. All right, so now that we have sat there, all you're gonna do is pull your cup. It's messy. Woo, oh. And then you're just gonna tilt and rotate around. I'll let it cover the edges. Normally I don't care about the burned edges, I like them, but because I have a white background, I think I want them to pop with the blue. And if it doesn't go all the way, all you do is dip your finger in it and cover it. And that's it. Then I want you to let it set. That looks awesome. Messy, but awesome. All right, ready? Going again. You get five paint pours in the Puppy Pour Kit. It's $35, by the way. You get everything you need, except for paper. You're gonna need to have a trash bag for something. Okay, and see how they're all gonna come out different? I poured, I think I poured the cups the same. We did this exercise one time, you guys, and we learned that you can't predict it. Just dip and cover the burn if you need to. It's gonna keep moving, so don't stress out if you feel like you're grabbing the edges right now, because it's gonna continue to flow off the edge for a while. Yeah, this is the poor attic stream. What, uh, what are you gonna put it on? Oh, it's a, hold on, Amanda, I'll show, I'll show you after I wipe my hands up. It's a, a 12 by 12, so you get to put it on a backer board. All right, ready? Last, oh, that's a lot of blue in that one, I like that. My tip for picking paint colors is to um, make sure that they, you've got, you want to see lights and darks. They can be in the same color family, like these are all blues and greens, but you want light and dark. I'm just wiping stuff and there's, okay, so let me show you the sample and then I'll do the big one. So this is the sample you're gonna get a 12 by 12 board, and um, you'll get glue and everything to put it together. The only thing you won't have is the paper. So you just need like a trash bag or something. And what I did for this one, I put my first coat on and I'm gonna do white. Yeah. Oh, what kind of paint? So this is just regular paint, good question. This is pour paint that we have mixed up. So it's acrylic, it's just your basic acrylic and we give it to you mixed up in these little containers and it's got pouring medium in it. You can use any pouring medium. DecoArt has one, there, there's a bunch. Um, doesn't really matter. I just realized that was kind of stuck on the side. Um, and you mix it to a consistency of, um, I don't know, like thin pancake batter, I think is probably the best. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, Amanda. So what do you think? Thin pancake batter? Maybe a little, yeah, thin pancake batter. Feels right. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't tell you how much to mix because it really depends on a lot of factors, some of which is how much paint you put in, uh, some of which is um, the, kind of paint. the kind of paint. So we bought some paint that is, ex the paint, like this paint that you get from us, um, 
goes forever and it's triple thick and so we can put just a little bit of paint and a lot of medium and even some water sometimes you can add some water okay I'm gonna use this no I'm not I'm gonna use this these these are the paint cups that I poured out of I'm not gonna worry about the back but I am gonna put three because I've learned that if it's not balanced well, it will all slide off <laughs> through the night. We had, we did have somebody do a pour one time and they put it in their back seat when we were letting them go home and it was like that and it just, everything ran off. You know who you are. All right, just gonna get some of the excess off. So I'm gonna do the same action. I've got this full cup. It's been sitting, baking, doing its thing. There you go. Last time I tried to do that, I poured it out. And then I want you to flip. Now, here's another tip while that's going. Um, if you try to do, so we sell the paint board separately, the paints, 250, you can buy the paints pre-mixed. Um, and, but don't pour it on natural wood. So one of the things we're getting ready to do, and I'm just letting this kind of, do its magic. This is coming. I'm super excited about this. This is our tray. We've done the trays in here with resin. Um, and in our old cute brick covered building, it's a challenge with resin. It just is a challenge. There's dirt and dust in here all day long. And we had to do all kinds of machinations to make the resin work in here. It's beautiful, but it's really the pour that matters. And so we're gonna be doing these as take home kits. It is a complicated process. Uh, took, it's a week, it's a whole week project. And I just finished the video today of the last little bit of putting on the handles and putting on the food safe resin, not resin, I'm lying to you. <laughs> food safe polycrylic, sorry. I'm totally lying to you, I didn't mean to. Um, and you can see you get a great shine. The difference with this versus the resin that we do, when you put resin on it, it comes with a completely solid, smooth surface. Um, it naturally does that on its own. With this process, you're gonna feel the grain of the wood. You just are, but in my mind, that's the beauty of it. And it's gonna cost you a crap load less. So, so you'll have options of handles, Lazy Susans. Um, you can just hang it on the wall if you want. So this is coming and it's the same colors as that, but look how different these are turning out. So just know, and here's the other thing. This is not an easy pour. This is not your first pour that you ever do. There's lots of processes. We walk you through the processes. Um, we'll give you access to the video when you buy the project. Uh, we will not be doing this one on a live because well, it takes a week. And so you're gonna be doing it in segments and you'll watch a portion and then you'll do the portion and then you're gonna wait and it's gonna dry and then you'll watch a portion and do a portion. Uh, so that's coming. Ooh. Now, while I'm waiting on this, I'm gonna dip my earrings. So if you didn't, weren't on here earlier, we added cute little wood earrings that you can dip or you can just paint or you can wear with just wood. And they're gonna come with this little foam because you need something to put them in if you're gonna dip them. I've already glued the earring back on and all I'm gonna do is use that earring back to dip. So I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and dip before I lift my cup. I'm gonna, I like this turquoise spot. And all you do is dip it. See how gooey that looks? It's fine, it's gonna dry. I want you to dip it, I want you to grab the edge, and I want you to gently place it in your styrofoam. Just like that. And it will dry. You wanna make sure that's as level as possible. If you've gotta prop it up on something, do that. Let's see, I did turquoise that time. I think I'm gonna kinda of stay in the same color family. You gotta get a good juicy spot. It only works if it's a good juicy spot all right just be careful and if you mess it up just dip it again all right so that's two that I just dipped with two that I dipped yesterday and these will dry in about 24 hours versus the tray that takes forever to dry because we seal the wood you have to seal the wood that's the trick and so 
we'll give you all of that stuff. Okay. Drum roll. We're gonna do it. What? Oh, I'm stuck to the cups. <laughs> Lesson learned. So this is kind of good. You don't need to go around. You can just hit the three points. And I like to let it push back a little bit because it stretches the cells when you do so. Look at that, my cup's still on it. That's fine. I'm gonna let that go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and just kind of make sure my edge has paint on it. That's it. Puppy pour, puppy paw pour. Um, if it's thick, does it level out? It'll level out, yep. For some reason, it does. The wood, so this is plywood. That's why it doesn't warp. If you do regular wood, it warps all wonky. Um, people have done it, and you can get it to flatten out. Even when you do the tray pour, you'll see there's a risk. So you can get them to flatten out if it's still a little bit wet. But with the plywood pieces that we use, honestly, they're mostly glue. So they don't tend to, like this, I can leave up on this. You could never do this with a tray. So that, that's a whole new process that you'll get when you, buy, when you buy the tray. But this does not work on a tray because what would happen is it would start to droop on the ends, okay? And yes, the earrings are fine, mostly because they're plywood. Well, mostly because they're little too. Yeah. It's gonna, even though you can see that it's kind of gloopy on the top, there's like a big old bloop right in the middle. Happens to me every time. It's fine, it'll go away. The earrings are super cute. Hold on, I'll show you. So these have, hold on. I think I just got a big old pile of turquoise paint in my hair. <laughs> Today's a messy, messy day for sure outside. I don't want to hit my boobs in there. Can you see it? It's so cute. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. There you go. So I think they're cute. All right. Okay. So when you do in your pour, then you're going to let this sit for 24 hours, uh, maybe a little bit longer with it being rainy outside. It does affect the dry time. Uh, it could be, it's not going to be two days, okay? So it could be a day and a half, but it will do it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So she, yeah. Everybody needs a puppy paw print. So then when it's done, uh, your kit will come with glue, and all you're going to do is put it on the background. Super cute. Lean this up against the wall, put a hanger on the back, and you've got a little special something something. Um, and we all need a reason to do a paint pour in this day and age. So, puppy paw print pour, $35. I only have four kits right now. I wasn't sure if they were gonna pop as a good hit. So if we sell out, just know we'll make more. It just is what it is. So, Stay tuned, uh, over the weekend, we're gonna drop the new takeout project. I keep showing it because it's beautiful and I love it, of the tray. And then we still have a few seats left for our next virtual class, which is July 12th, if my brain is working correctly. And it is gonna be our crab oh my god you guys almost dipped it right in there so we've got our crab we've got several options it's all going to be the crab but you're going to have a multicolor palette like you could do both of these crabs with this palette um you just will choose we'll, we'll walk you through it we're on the class and you can do multiple options for the crab so we've got placemats these we've got round trays and we have lazy susans that sort of thing okay oh Go grab the puppy pour. It's in the online store now, ready to go. Uh, don't forget that when you're doing it, you're gonna be choosing your background paint or stain. You'll see pictures up there that says paint, stain. So that's obvious. And then your 
two color palettes that you're gonna pick. They're numbered one through 16. And I think there's two pictures to cover all 16 of them. Uh, I can't remember what paint pour you did the other day. Oh, uh, is it the, I think it's the scallop shell. Is this the one that I did the other day? That one, this one's out there. So that's out there too. Um, yes, all of the paint pours are available because we, we make these ourselves. So we just make more. The only reason that the poor um, puppy paws have less is because the background piece we buy and we just got to make sure that we have a, oh, you're being town Norfolk seven. Oh, yes. Oh, def oh, hey, Sharon. Sharon, <laughs> I was like, what do you mean Laura lives here? Okay, I got you. Um, yeah, definitely reserve one, or if, if you want, um, I'll, I'll watch the number, and if I need to make more, I'm gonna make more, because these are super cute. So I'm gonna let this sit. It will sit overnight, and then I'll put it together for you and just post a picture, because that's usually what I do. Um, so I hope you loved it. I loved it. It's uh, still raining here in Norfolk and kind of gross. So I was going to go get a cup of coffee and you guys enjoy the rest of your day. We are here for pickup or takeout uh, from one to six. Um, I've got a couple of deliveries I'm going to do this afternoon. So if you have a delivery, I'm still coming, even though I'm in the shop. Uh, and stay tuned for our in-shop workshops. We're going to be doing a glass etching on July 4th with eight um hang on we're down to 10 percent, y'all you know it's a battery run for me always um we're gonna have eight patriotic usa virginia norfolk key mermaid kind of designs that you can choose from we won't be won't be doing the chaos design like we usually do it'll be limited we're gonna be doing glass etching on july 4th in the morning so everybody come make your glasses and then go fill them up in the afternoon and then um we're going to be doing alcohol ink classes. Those are getting ready to get booked. And then we're going to be doing our typical DIY in limited numbers. So get your friends together. So we have three or four tables, depending on the session available. We will be booking tables and we will be, you'll, you'll have to decide at least the project that you want in advance. Um, and so we're working on the processes to be able to do that because that's not our usual. Okay. All right, you guys, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions ever, let me know. The puppy paws are out there. If they sell out tonight, I promise I'll make more and put them in there, okay? Everybody take care, bye.